please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your and subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Oswobi. Oh, no, no. Tia, holy, dad, no. People's Democratic Party, and also congratulate us that by the grace of God, on Sunday, we shall sing a victory song. Without belaboring us with unnecessary commentary, rhetoric, or stories, I want to bring to our attention what is happening in Kogi State. That on Friday, we converged at the residence of Ibrahim Idris, the former governor of Kogi State, and his house was surrounded. Not only surrounded, they even came into the compound with men looking like vampires, dressed in military uniforms and police uniform, physically broke their way into the compound while the state, the state uh, stakeholders were holding our meeting. It took the intervention of the genuine military to come and uh, send them away. By the time we ran up the meeting, we were driving out. I just got to front of government house. They opened fire at my vehicle and all the other vehicles in the convoy. Open fire. They shot at us radically. Men in fake military uniform and police uh, uniform. The commissioner of police is aware. The commandant of the army records in Lokoja is aware. And we have reported to relevant uh, security agencies. Two of these men were arrested. We don't know what has happened. The governor boasted that they will be released. But we want to bring this to the attention that the plan by the APC to use fake police and military is very, very real. And information just reaching me now also said that on Saturday, there's already a resolution by the APC that they will not allow people to vote in Sanfara. That they are going to unleash violence to make sure that electorates will not have access to even polling units on Saturday. So we are bringing this for Nigerians and the school agencies to know that if actually we are to defend democracy, then they must come out and do the needful. The statement, the non-presidential statement by the president yesterday, as far as I'm concerned, is a suspension of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I want to say that the Nigerian military must know that when they took every military man, every soldier, every police, took oath of allegiance before you get inducted as either a military man or paramilitary man for that matter. That oath of allegiance you took is not to Muhammad Buhari. That oath of allegiance is to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We in the PDP are ready. We have purchased secret cameras and any soldier, any policeman, any paramilitary man who will abuse his oath of office in being used by the APC to unleash terror on Nigerians, we will record you. Yes. And those of you who do not, who, maybe some of you have no, you have network problem with God. I have no network problem with God. Whenever I call upon him, he answers me. And he told me that Atiku will be president of the Friday Republic of Nigeria. So if you allow yourself to be used, I want to please, Mr. President, sir, I want to be a member of the special panel that will try 
military officers who betray the government. So I want to advise that the military in Nigeria must be professional and I want to say that government is not owned by those in government. Government is owned by the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And on Saturday, we are going to prove to the APC and President Mohamed Buhari, we are going to prove to them that the election is not between Atiku Abubakar and Mohamed Buhari. The election is between Mohamed Buhari and the masses of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. By the grace of God, we in Kogi, no matter if the light let them be the third marine commando, we shall not allow rigging, we shall not allow intimidation, and I want to tell them that every day, I die. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Was Swoby?